Yeah, I know we're seeing a lot of progress, especially out of our young kids. Uh, you know, spring ball is always good to get you know, one of those first year players out here that didn't probably understand it too much during fall camp, understand the defense. Uh, so, you know, you see it over the first, you know, one to six practices. You know, we're making a lot of strides. You know, we got some different things going on defensively, but, uh, you know, there's some strides going on. You know, we're kind of focusing on, hey, trying to take away the ball, trying to get more takeaways, and, you know, just basically working on the fundamentals, you know, tackling, shedding blocks, getting off, um, understanding leverage, those types of things right now. At the end of spring ball, basically I want to make sure we're a better defense than we came in in the 2019 spring. And, you know, and like I said, a lot of it is fundamentals with getting off blocks, um, tackling better, and understanding, that, hey, we have to get turnovers. You know, it's not good enough to have one turnover each practice. we got to get the ball out three to four times. And, you know, if we can do that, if we can be better tacklers, understand our leverage better, then, hey, we're going to be a better team come 2019 fall season. So as we roll into week three here, we've got pretty much uh... – Everything in defensive wise, uh, there's a couple tweaks that we'll be putting in uh, along the line. But uh, for the most part, the entire playbook's in, and now it's just about correcting mistakes that we've, uh, I guess, identified in the beginning or the first couple of weeks here. And uh, as we move forward, an important thing is, uh, is to just maintain an intensity. Uh, like it's very easy to come out on the first couple of practices and hit and have a, have a blast. But now as we're getting into practice, uh, like the double digit practices here, we got to make sure we're still coming with the same intensity as if it's day one. As uh, spring camp concludes, it's important, uh, first of all, to be healthy, to get through uh, those 15 practices without any major injuries. And then I think you also want to be working uh, as a cohesive, a cohesive unit, both offensively and defensively. Uh, the last practice is a scrimmage, and we treat that a little bit like a game, but still you want to feel as if, I mean, the finished product is ready to go on the field against another team at that point because I mean spring camp is essentially just as long as fall camp is so that's the same period that we will have in the summer to prepare for our first game.